thoughts of the offense after uh, Ricky got ejected? It seemed like the, you guys uh, kind of got a little fired up after that. You know, it's tough, especially with a guy like him who's who's played so hard all year, you know, hasn't gotten the stats that he's wanted to, but you guys can see, everyone can see the the growth he's had from last year to this year and blocking on the perimeter, you know, his routes and stuff like that. So <clears throat> really, it's tough as a whole entire offense when you lose a guy so key like that, but we knew that everyone on the offense has each other's back. So we told him when he went in the locker room, we got your back, we're going to win this one for you. And it's, it's just tough, but it's, we're gonna, it's gonna be good to have him back next week. Also joined by center Mike Matthews. So please address the player with your questions. Standing in the back, Daryl. Kyle, I, don't, I, I mean, I know it was a, first, I guess I'll ask you about the 5-0 and start heading into an off week. That's got to sound pretty good for you. Yeah, most definitely. And that's one thing we stress this week a lot is this is a, it was our biggest test yet. We're going to face a physical team. And we knew that if we won this game that we would have a lot of momentum going into the bye week to recover and to keep our spirits up and do a, a really good Alabama team. As you see, they, they put a pretty good beating on Georgia this week. So we're going to have two weeks to prepare for that, and we're going to recover, and our morale is going to be high, which is huge. Stay in the back with Daryl. I like to do it back there because he asked a lot of questions. Kyle, can you also talk about uh, the fact that you guys are still having some issues in the red zone? Um, I know you had a couple of passes in the end zone that uh, I don't know if you want to say they were dropped, but uh, there was a potential to score some touchdowns there, and, and you didn't. You settled for some field goals. Yeah, you know, and it's it's something that we continue to work on, and it's a vital part of the game, almost as much as turnovers is. And it's the thing that a lot of teams do to us is they put a lot of people in the box, which forces the passing game. And it's just something that we have to get better at in practice. And we have to come up with more concepts, you know, get crisper at our routes, go through my reads better and stuff like that. But I thought we did better at putting the ball in the end zone in the red zone today. But field goals in the red zone are never good. We just, our goal is to score 100% of the time when we're in the red zone, whether that's touchdowns or field goals. And then if we're inside the 10, you want to score a touchdown every time. Standing in the back, Colin. Hey, Kyle, what did you think the uh, biggest difference was for you guys in, in the first half? You know, you put up 24 points as opposed to the second half where you guys were uh, a little bit slower offensively. You know, it's something that we stressed coming out of the locker room in the second half was to start fast and play hard. And as an offense, sometimes I think that as a unit, as players, that we kind of go into protect mode when we have big leads. And really, you need to just keep the mindset and keep attacking and keep finishing drives and stuff like that. So I thought we, we started the the half pretty well. And our defense caused a bunch of turnovers, which gave us great field position. But we had a couple three and outs in the late third quarter and early fourth quarter, I think, that could have been pivotal of the game if our defense didn't step up. So it was really good job on our defense to pick us up when we were down. And we needed that. Stay in the back, Colin. Mike, uh, what's your your guys' mindset now in, you know, in the bye week heading into Bama in two weeks? Uh, just like Kyle said, you know, this is a big time win for us. And <clears throat> that, this bye week's crucial. Uh, gives us an opportunity to have two weeks to prepare for Alabama. And, um, you know, got, a lot of guys are banged up and playing through that stuff. And, uh, you know, this just gives us, a, gives us the opportunity to get healthy, really, and um, come out with our best RA game against Alabama. We've got a mark here in front, and then Zach. Mike, last year in Starkville, those guys uh, put a pretty good beating on y'all. Uh, you know, really physically dominated you. What was different this time around? Because uh, it looked like you guys had the better of it most of the game. Uh, I don't know. Last year, obviously, we, we sputtered out. And that was the game that really we fell off of our momentum and went downhill. And we just weren't in a good place. And uh, this team, you know, we've learned from last year. And we understand that well, this is a really big game for us. And we emphasize it a lot that, you know, last year at this moment, this is where we fell off. You know, this is where we we got to we can't get complacent at being undefeated. We got to push on the gas. And uh, I think, I mean, we just kind of we really just attacked the game. And, uh, you know, coaches had a great scheme. And uh, I mean, it was just it was a great game overall. And, you know, we just executed. So in front, Mike, Sorry. you talk, talked about your performance on the offensive line tonight. But were there any anything that sticks out in your mind? Maybe you guys uh, can, of course, improve on. I know kind of the thing is you can always improve on stuff. But anything that sticks out in your mind? Um, yeah, like you said, there's always room for improvement everywhere. But, uh, you know, 
we're really trying to pride ourselves on the run game now, and we really just got to keep on pushing. I don't care how many guys they throw in the box. If, if coach calls a run play, you know, we need to get it done. You know, that's our mindset. I don't care if they've overloaded it and they got an extra guy. You know, we're just going to come off the ball and really, you know, really just come off the ball and, you know, try to get movement on these guys. And obviously with their, their team, obviously you could see, I mean, they got some big boys down there on the D-line. And uh, we, can't, we knew that coming into this game. And we just we played with leverage and played hard. And, you know, obviously some runs weren't the best. But I thought we had a pretty solid run game. Anything else for this duo? All right. Thanks, guys.